last 10 days left for Pixar guys. Everybody is very very stressed out and a lot of people message me saying that even though we write mock tests, our scores are not improving. What should we go about doing? And what should be our final strategy so that in our second attempt of Bitsat, we do really 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 well? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. If you're new here, my name is Hari and I got 340 in Bitsat 2019. So let's just get started, started into the video. The first most important mistake that most people make is that people don't attend the mock test diligently. People don't attend it with full seriousness. People are just all over the place. Sometimes some people, they don't even sit for a three hours sitting and then they just take it in parts. Maybe like, okay, I'm going to do 30 minutes of mock tests and then I'm going to study something else, 30 minutes of mock tests again. But now is the time to do full syllabus mock tests. guys. full syllabus mock tests because you have very, very, very less amount of time for Bitsat. And one of the most important mistakes that people make is to not try out different, different strategies because you never know what's going to work for you in the examination it's because sometimes maths might be easier, sometimes physics might be easier, sometimes chemistry might be easier. And the most important thing to do is to attend all the easy questions first and then go on to the tougher questions. And most people just get stuck while doing a specific subject, specific topic. And then they just go about trying to find the topics that they like and spend more time while doing them. This is not the right approach. So while attempting mock tests, make sure to try out your strategies which are designed to work for you. And do not get hell bent on doing one subject first and thinking that, okay, I'm good at physics, I'm going to do it first. But then there's a probability that in the examination, the physics paper actually comes out a bit tough. So you need to be able to switch your strategies up based on the level of the question paper. And that's exactly what we try to do while creating our mock test series in Bitsat Bustle as well. There are 15 mock tests for you guys to attend. 15 mock tests of varying levels of difficulty inside the Bitsat spectrum. And at the same time, we have bonus sections in the mock test as well. The people who have taken the mock test, they'll be given live sessions as well before the Bitsat examination. This is your last chance to crack Bitsat to get into Tire One College. So do not miss out on the opportunity. And once you've attempted the mock test, what should you actually go about doing and how do you actually make an improvement before the next one? The most important mistake that most people do is they just go about attempting mock tests without even analyzing anything. You attempt mock one and then with, you take a half an hour break and then you attempt mock two and then you take a half an hour break and then you go and attempt doing a mock test, you go about learning something new. But then it is very important for you to have the feedback loop of getting something wrong and trying to understand where you can actually improve. This is where analyzing the mock test comes in. Whenever you finish a mock test, go and analyze the mock test immediately before attempting the next one. And try to understand where you have the unattempted questions and where you have the questions where you've gotten the wrong answers. And unattempted questions, try to understand what concepts you've made mistakes and what places you've not understood and, and the reason why you've not attempted the questions in the first place. Is there a lack of knowledge? Is there a kind of problems that you've not practiced before? Is there types of questions that are not a part of syllabus? Or is there a, is there a kind of questions that you know you were not mentally prepared to like solve? Like so, these are different types of reasons why people don't attempt questions. And in case you've made a mistake in attempting a question, you should try to break down into three different different formats, which is try to understand if it's a silly mistake or not. I think silly mistake is one of the most common reasons for people getting low marks that they say that it's a silly mistake, it's a careless mistake, it's a calculation mistake, this and that. And there's a second kind of mistake which is a conceptual mistake which means that you have not prepared well and you've made some conceptual errors and you've not understood the question properly, you attempted the wrong formula, you've used the incorrect method to solve a particular problem. So these are types of conceptual errors. The third one is lack of knowledge and most people skip some chapters here and there and some people skip a lot of chapters due to which there's a huge backlog and there's a huge lack of knowledge as well and especially in 2024 a lot of chapters were deleted for GE means as well which means that there's a significant backlog for most students and with that there is no deleted chapters as such there are deleted chapters but it's not as much as the GE means syllabus which means that there is a part of syllabus that most people forget to cover which means the P block, the S block and certain parts of gravitation and certain part of communication systems are part uh, where people have completely neglected which is an issue, right? So once you break it down into three different parts of questions where like you, you try to understand which question uh, you attempted wrongly try to like categorize them and try to understand how many questions you've gotten wrong in each part and how many questions are the places that you need to go and work on 
right if in case you made a conceptual error go and revisit the chapters go and solve some more problems in that area and try to understand how you can actually make an improvement in your preparation so that in the next mock that you attempt you don't make the same mistakes again and the reason i'm asking you not to make the same mistakes again is that because the total number and total number of types of questions some number of chapters are fixed there are only a certain different different types of questions that can be framed based on certain concepts it's generally a manipulation of mock tests and previous year papers and gme question papers unlike ge advanced bitstart is not a question a paper where a lot of very very different new questions come the ultimate test is for you to solve maximum number of questions with minimum number of errors in the given stipulated time environment and the only way to improve is by doing mock tests and if you make it a vow to improve in every mock test let's say you made 20 mistakes in the first mock test and the second mock test you analyze and you understood the mistakes that you made in the first mock test and you avoid the mistakes and you make it to like 16 mistakes and now you bring it down to like 11 mistakes and now you bring it down to 8 mistakes right so now you see a positive improvement in your score because now you're improving on your negative marks and you're trying to get more marks right and that's the ultimate goal and people really underestimate the kind of differences in deltas that small marks can give you even like a 10 to 15 mark gap can mean the difference of a college it can mean the difference of a branch it can mean the difference of a lot of things including a college and a branch and that can completely alter your life right and the kind of people that you meet the kind of things that you study and the kind of professors that you meet will be completely different so sweat on the small stuff even some of the easy chapters where you think that not much revision is required make sure to go through them and revise them if you have problems in revision you should attend the live sessions it's completely free free for the people who have taken the mock tests right and Yes that is it from my side guys if you have any other queries whatsoever do feel free to put it in the comments or feel free to dm me i will try to answer the queries in the best way possible and don't think about anything else analysis has to be done for every mock test right and let's do a quick recap of whatever we've said till now do mock test in the most diligent possible way try to do the mock test during your examination hours so that you get a boost in your performance during the examination and try to analyze mock tests very diligently in case you have unattended questions try to go and see why you have not attended the questions and where you have made a mistake and try to understand in case of question that you've gotten wrong try to divide it in different possible categories silly mistakes conceptual errors and lack of knowledge and by doing this you will be able to see um, improvement in the metrics of your scores in the next upcoming exam which you have from 24 to 28 and I hope you guys do well and I hope you ace the chat this year and I'll see you on the next video and I'll see you in the coming videos bye bye